What you guys got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Data Recovery. It's a new one doing the rounds at the moment. One I'm going to thank Malwarebytes for and for the actual sample. So, as you can see, uh, I did a video not so long ago called Smart Hard Drive, and this is slightly different. It's got a different registration code for it, so if you're using the old code for this one, it won't work, and I'll give you the new code to use to register it so you can remove it. So, first off, the best way to remove these really is in safe mobile networking because in Windows 7 this doesn't run in safe mobile networking and the instructions should be up on the screen right now. Now I'm going to remove this from the desktop um, but basically let's go to customer support first. Now this is the fake part where they try to coax you into paying for it. You can't do anything with a computer and this is what they're trying to do is get your money off you but this is all fake okay so don't ever fall for this type of stuff. Okay, so let's uh, click on this. Now what you want to do here is put the email address in. Any type of email will do in there. And the registration key should be up on the screen now so you can see the registration key to go in, in this bit here. And this will register the actual product. Now this will still be on the system, so you need to remove it, but it stops it, stops it from stopping things running. So you should be able to kill it very easily, okay, with that key. Okay, so in case that key didn't work, I'm going to show you how to remove it anyway. So we're going to go down to the run bar here. I want to go down to here and type HTTP. I'm going to put live.sysinternals.com. And then I'm going to push enter here. And this should give me the download that I need and there you go because that's the direct link for the file that I need so I can download this now and finish that back window there and all I need to do here is drag this onto my desktop now before I run this what I'm going to do is show you where this actual rogue lives and if you, as you can see there's a an actual uh, shortcut on the desktop, I'm going to right click on this, go properties and as you can see it lives in the C root directory called program data and there's an executable file there. So let's go to that location. Now if you can't see yours you need to show file, hidden files and folders like so and then it will show up and there you should see a load of files okay this is where the actual rogue lives in Windows 7 I will show you where it lives inside uh, XP I'll reboot that up and show you that in a second so let me just close this off and we're gonna run this process I'm gonna quickly rename this I'm gonna type winlogon.exe and then run this Now, if WinLogon doesn't work, you can always try iExplore.exe or command.com or something like that to get this process running. Okay, so now we've got this running, as you can see. I'm going to pull this to one side. I'm going to come down. and there we have our rogue run in there so what I'm going to do there is right click on this and I'm going to kill this process click OK and that process is now kill killed I'm going to go back to our folder here I'm going to highlight these and delete these off like so now if you've got files that have been hidden from that what you need to do is use a program called unhide uh, by bleeping computer and this is the actual program here now this will actually um, unhide all your files so you can get them back and I will put the link in the description or up on the screen now and you should see the link for this but you can get it from the description of the video and download this if your files are hidden and that's right pretty much it for this one but where they hide your files will be inside 
the actual temp folder which is inside here and they will be in here so don't go deleting stuff inside here until you've recovered all your files back in case they are in there hidden okay okay let's quickly show you what XP looks like and what it's looked like activated okay so here we have a uh, Windows XP and this is what it will look like when it's activated when it's activated you can see the license code here they give you okay so this is the license code that we were using for it uh, for Windows XP and Windows 7 and this should actually free up the system so you could then remove it and as you can see you've got full control of the system and all you need to do here is end the process like so and then run Malwarebytes or something like that to remove all the remnants and if you want to uh, remove the rest of it you'd go to my computer Uh, documents and settings all users and then inside app data you should see some files inside here and you want to delete these files and that will stop that from running now if your files are hidden again what you want to do is use unhide like I showed you in Windows 7 okay so I've took the liberty of downloading Malwarebytes and installing it and what I'm going to do is quickly run this and let it update so what you want to do here is make sure you check for updates and then run a quick scan ok there's one file there and that's in the recycle bin as you can see so that's all clean and it wants to restart but I'm going to say no to that and the next thing I would do is run TDSS killer and again I've uh, took the liberty of downloading them so I'll quickly run these and these should be clean and you'd do the same on Windows 7 if you had a Windows 7 operating system you'd do the same thing and as you can see this system is pretty clean again TDSS killer no threats found and that should be pretty much it so let's quickly flick back to Windows 7 ok again what you want to do here is run your TDSS killer Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro I'm not going to bother doing them because you've seen me doing it before and basically once you run these three programs you should be up and running and making sure that that's all gone and just tidy up the last few bits like removing the uh, shortcuts and stuff like that and you should be pretty much good to go from there okay so I hope this has been helpful my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button also show your support by rating and favorite all my videos and uh, I'll be making more videos again in the future so thanks again bye for now